This is the time in which we uh, direct the message primarily to our children. And uh, we have been studying some things in the catechism. Children, do you remember the thing that we must understand above all other things? The reason for which we were made. In this world, you're going to hear all kinds of voices and they're crying out to you to follow them. They're telling you the way that you ought to live. But most of those voices, if not, well, the great majority of them, they are lying. They will tell you things that are not true. Why were we made? We were made for the glory and the good pleasure of God and to find our joy in Him. There is a sense in which I can tell you, I hope that when you grow up, you will be happy. There is nothing wrong with that word. I hope that as children, you will be happy children. I hope that as young people, you will also be full of joy. And I hope that when you're as old as I am, you will still be smiling. But I can tell you the secret to that. It's not religion. It's not even serving God in the church. The joy comes from knowing God. From knowing Him. Imagine that... that um, I don't know if you've ever had a friend. If you've ever had a friend, you just need to ask yourself, why is he your friend? Or why is she your friend? And it's usually because there are certain things about them that bring you joy. There are certain wonderful qualities about them. The way they talk, the way they live, and you want to be around them. Well, I know one who is perfect. He is beyond anyone else you've ever met. And it is God and God's Son, and God's Spirit. And if you truly want joy in your life, you truly want to have life, it comes to the, to the degree that you know Him. That you know Him. Now children, in many churches you would probably go there and they would have you painting pictures of Noah's Ark and little animals and all sorts of things. They would have you singing all sorts of songs and playing games. But we believe that you're more intelligent than that. We believe that a five-year-old can come to understand some of the greatest truths that are found in the Bible. Now, I want to share with you something today that's very, very important. And I just want you to listen. How can we learn, how can we learn to become more like the Lord Jesus Christ? How can we learn to love Him more? Well, here's a verse from Jeremiah that I want to read to you. I want you to listen. Thus says the Lord, Let not a wise man boast of his wisdom, and let not a mighty man boast of his might. Let not a rich man boast of his riches, but let him who boasts boast of this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who exercises loving kindness, justice, and righteousness on the earth, for I delight in these things. That's Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 23 and 24. Now, here's what I want you to take away from this passage. Has anyone ever told you that you need to love God? Probably. Have you ever been kind of sad as a child that you didn't love God enough? Probably. You sit there and think there's so many things that I think are more important than God, like Legos and dolls and hunting and fishing and playing in the snow. How can you grow in your love for God, in your appreciation for God? There's only one way, and that's to know Him more. The, no, the more that you know God, the more you will love Him, because everything about Him is lovable. Absolutely everything about Him is lovable. Now, here's the problem with the voices. You get up in the morning, and there's voices outside and voice inside that carries you away to other things. 
You get up in the morning and you want to play with Legos. You get up in the morning, you want to watch something or you want to hear something in the radio or you just want to mess around and do nothing. There's always things calling to you. But I want to tell you, young person, listen to me, children, listen, parents. One of the things that you can do the first thing in the morning is do the first thing. Take them to the Lord. Pray with them. Maybe just a moment, a verse here or there, Scripture. But not just Scripture about what the children are supposed to do. Because what you will raise is a little Pharisee who knows to do all the right things. You want to take them to Scripture and tell them about this marvelous God. Do you see that? And parents, if God's not, if He doesn't have His proper place in our lives, and if being adults we're still led aside to all sorts of foolishness, so that when we get up in the morning so many other things take priority over God, then how are we going to teach our children? Let's be dedicated to this. Let's be giving ourselves as parents to the things of God. Early in the morning I will seek thee. Let's teach our children to do the same. All right, let's pray. Father, I pray that you would take your word, this simple message, and drive it into our hearts. That we as parents... Lord, that we as parents would set it in our minds first to seek the Lord, to know Thee, O God, and that that way of life would be transmitted to our children. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Please visit our website at heartcrymissionary.com. There you will find information about the ministry, our purpose, beliefs and methodologies, and extensive information about the missionaries we are privileged to serve.